In this video, we present a design optimization framework for fabricating freeform surfaces using self-folding structures. The self-folding structure contains an active and a passive material. The active material is the film in the middle, which will shrink under heating. By controlling the gap of exposing the shrinking film, the deformation angle along a hinge can be controlled. That is, the wider the gap, L, the larger the bending angle, alpha. When the structure is carefully designed, different 3D shapes can be fabricated using the 2D patterns, which results in a fast fabrication cycle. A box example is shown here. However, 3D surfaces, like this half sphere, that are not flattenable cannot be fabricated by self-folding structures. The half sphere is not flattenable because its vertices are in elliptic shapes, which means the sum of incident angles around a vertex is smaller than 2 pi. The sum of incident angles around a vertex must be equal to 2 pi if it is flattenable. It is non-flattenable as well if the sum of incident angles is greater than 2 pi. Now, the problem is how do we fabricate a surface that is non-flattenable through a 2D pattern? One possible solution is to cut the surface into strips in order to make them flattenable. Nevertheless, artifacts are left at the places where cuts are introduced after folding. The more the cuts, the more artifacts are resulted on the final folded part. In order to reduce the cuts, we ask the following two questions. First, given a non-flattenable shape, can we make it to be flattenable? Second, if cuts are inserted, can we minimize the number and the length of the cuts? It comes to our two contributions, the shape optimization and the cut insertion. Given a non-flattenable surface as this face model, our idea is to first perform an elastic flattening to get a 2D pattern. After that we simulate a rigid folding to approximate the 3D shape. The folded shape is a flattenable shape. Our shape optimization framework can find a flattenable shape. However, if the approximation error is too high that cannot be accepted, cuts have to be inserted. How to cut is an important question. A random cut may relax the surface energy in a wrong way, and result in self-intersection on the 2D pattern. As mentioned, there are two kinds of non-flattenable vertices. One has the sum of incident angles smaller than 2 pi, another one's is greater than 2 pi. They should be treated in a different way. In short, a boundary cut should be applied to an elliptic vertex, but a hyperbolic vertex should have an interior cut. Based on the findings, we developed two intelligent cutting methods. One has only interior cuts, and another one has both boundary and interior cuts. This is the comparison for different optimization results. The overlaid red lines are the contour of the input shape. We can see that the features are recovered by inserting cuts. Now, let's have a look on some fabrication results.